Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be doing spider bites from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this comes in as a special request from my buddy Ethan. Ethan is nine years old. He lives in San Jacinto, California with his mom and dad and his little sister, Harper. Harper is an awesome little dancer. Um, and I want to say hi to both of them. Hi, Ethan. Hi, Harper. Anyhow, Ethan, the other day I was talking to him. He had a little spider bites um, toy and he asked me, he goes, Hey, can you tell, show us how to do, uh, how to draw spider bites on your channel? So spider bites it is. Anyhow, my name is Jesse and I'm your host and drawing instructor here. And I want to welcome you guys to the channel. Uh, if you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Also like the video and leave your requests in the comment section below. I do requests on this channel. If you guys have a special character, um, you know, a favorite ca uh, cartoon character or animal, etc., you guys want to see me do a tutorial on, leave the request down below. All you need to follow along with me is a pencil with an eraser and then something to draw on, like a piece of paper, right? Drawing paper, uh, any kind of, any sheet of paper will do just fine. Also, uh, towards the end, I might paint spider bites. I'm not sure yet, but if you decide to follow along with that, uh, you'll need some paints, colored pencils, or markers, all right? So anyway, boys and girls, Ethan, let's get ready to uh, do spider bites. Spider bites is coming right up. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to draw spider bites. So again, I'm going to be using a canvas as I usually do. Uh, all you need is uh, paper or anything to, to draw on. And I'm using a pencil to do the initial part of the drawing, and then I'll be outlining it in a marker so you guys can all see at home what it is that I'm doing. When I do it with a pencil, it's a little hard to um, pick up on the, on the pencil through the video. So anyway. I'll be doing it in pencil first, and then I'll be uh, outlining it in marker as we go. So don't stress out if you can't see it right at the beginning. Okay, so spider bites. We're gonna start with a little circle. His main, the main part of his body is a circle. So we're gonna start with a circle. All right. You don't wanna make your circle too big. You wanna leave room for uh, his arms and his, uh, his feet. Right, and then his, uh, his spider legs. So make sure you guys don't make it make him too gigantic. So there's my circle, and now I'm gonna come in with a marker and I'm going to outline it. There we go. Nothing too fancy about a circle. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle. All right, so kind of like that. <clears throat> okay, cool. Easy enough, right? Easy enough. You always want to start with the easy things first. You start from big overall overall shapes and then you slowly start to add details all right so what's next let's add his mouth his mouth is like a big almost like a almost like an oval all right a little bit like an oval or a rectangle with rounded sides so watch me do it first so here's the top of his mouth i'm gonna come down like this i'm gonna come over and then kind of like that i'm gonna make a little adjustment on this side there's nothing wrong with having to erase. Okay, so for those of you at home, I know sometimes some people don't like to erase. I'm not sure why they think they, they shouldn't have to erase. That's how you make adjustments and you make things look better. All right, so there's the mouth, kind of like this. All right, and maybe I'm gonna make this side a little bit bigger, so like this, so it's kind of open. All right, kind of like that. All right, let me outline that mouth. Just like this, comes down, all right, just like that. And now I'm gonna do another, I'm gonna do another, um, I'm gonna do an outline around that, all right? So like this. So these are kind of his lips, okay? There we go. Look at that. <clears throat> now I'm gonna do his teeth. Spider bites got some pretty sharp teeth. I'm not gonna do it in pencil first. I'm just, actually, yeah, I'll do it in pencil. I'm gonna stay consistent here. So here we go. This fang right here, big old tooth, comes down. It looks like a kind of like a shark's tooth. All right, I'll do the other one also, like this. The teeth come in a little bit. All right, nice and sharp. All right, the ones on the bottom are a little bit different. They're a little bit smaller, and it's like it's almost like it's got three little peaks, all right? 
So there's the right one and then the one on the bottom left. So same thing. One, two, three little peaks. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, outline those. There we go. So again, ladies and gentlemen, you want to break things down. You want to break things, things down into simple sections. If you look at the overall, so here's the original drawing. If you look at the overall drawing, it can be a little bit, it can look like it's a lot, right? You're going, oh my gosh, how am I going to do all of that? Well, you break it down step by step, little by little, and slowly it comes to, together, okay? So there's his bottom teeth, now I'm going to outline his top teeth, just like that. And just like that, we have spider, bite, spider bite's mouth done. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna we're gonna work on his eyes, the area around his eyes. So he's got it's like this triangle thing it goes like this around his left eye. So we're gonna do that first. So if you imagine an upside down triangle, it goes like this. Right. So here's the top part of the triangle, and here's the here's the other two sides, just like that. Actually, I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger, just a little bit bigger. So maybe out here, it's going to come out a little bit further. There we go. Cool. And now I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to come over here. This one's a little longer. And it's a little more rounded. Watch how I do this first, okay? So here's the top part of my triangle. It comes down. See how it's a little curved? And then back, a little bit curved. All right, cool. Now I can adjust this a little bit. I want the points to be kind of similar, All right? So, so I want this point and that point to be kind of neck close to each other or all or parallel. There we go. Like I said, nothing wrong with erasing. Once I've got what I want, I'll come in and outline it. You at home don't have to outline it. You can, if you want, um, that's up to you. I'm only doing the outlining part. So you guys can all see what I'm doing. All right. So, all right. Now let's do his eyeballs. He has three eyeballs on each side. There's one big one in the center. Okay. So we'll do that one first. It's just a circle. Another one right here. Circle. And then another one back and towards the top. Circle. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So one in the middle. Okay. One on the inside and down a bit. And then one over the top and up a bit. Actually, this one on the right-hand side. Sorry, guys. Hope you're all doing this in pencil and not in, in pen so you can erase. There we go. Just a little bit higher. Just had to make an adjustment. Now I'm going to do the inside. On the inside, you've got two lines like this down the middle. Okay? And then you have his eyeball on the inside. All right? Same thing with the other ones. They're just smaller versions of that, what's on the big one. So like this, all right. So on the other side, like this, like this, and then his eyeball. Okay, same thing with the other eye. I know it's hard, it's gonna be hard to see on the on these smaller ones on the video, but it's the same thing as what I did on these, just in a smaller version. All right. So let's um let's outline it, outline it then. Um, you know what? I'm not going to use the marker for this. The marker tip is too big. So I'm going to switch. Let's see here. I'm going to switch to a uh, colored pencil and I'm going to use, what color should I use here? Uh, let's use brown. Um, you know what? Actually, give me one quick sec. I'm going to grab me a pen. A little pen here. A little small fine point pen. Bear with me one moment. All right, sorry about that. <clears throat> so here's the outline for his the eyeball in the center. All right, here we go with the inside. All right, little eyeball. Or little eye, I should say. <clears throat> Other little eye. The inside of the eye. And then his eyeball, okay? Left side, big eyeball, inside of the eye, 
and then his pupil. This is actually what's called a pupil on the inside of his eye, okay? All right, guys. Next one, right here, little one. Little one inside of his eye, and then little pupil. Next, small eyeball, eye on top, inside of his eye, little pupil. Okay, there we go. Cool. So what's left on the inside of Mr. Spiderbite's head? Well, we have that V, that V symbol that he has right here. So all you're doing is creating a V. And you can do it in two ways. You can do a little small V on top like this. Little V. And then big V underneath it. And then all you're going to do is connect the tops just like that. All right. So it looks like uh, he's got a V. His little marking right there is a V. All right. I'm going to go back to my marker. So little V, okay, a little V on top, a little V underneath, and then just connect the tops, just like that. Look at that. All right, Spider Bites is looking pretty scary, huh? Okay, what should we do next? Let's do his right arm. Let's go over to his right arm. So his right arm starts right below this line right here, right where his, this part of his, the large part of his eye, right next to it. You're going to draw a little line that comes out like that, all right, just like that. And then underneath it, you're going to draw another line that kind of curves up, just like that. All right, let me color those in. So this first line comes out, and then this line on the bottom comes up, just like that, all right? Cool. That's his arm. He has these little short arms, right? So that's, next we're going to do his hand. And now his hand can be a little tricky. First part I want you guys to do is this, almost like a U, all right? Like a part of a U, just like that, okay? And then you're going to go, you're going to make a little point, all right? And you're going to come over, make another little point, like that. Come over, and then make a third point, just like that, okay? That's his hand, and then these are his claws right here. All we're doing is closing these off. Now we got his, his uh, big old fingernails, big old claws that he has on his hands, all right? Look at that. There's his right hand. Now let's use a marker to color this in. First is the U, then we make these little points, just like that. And then we close these off to make his claws. Look at that. How about that? Cool. Let's go over to his left arm. So same thing as what we did on the left right here. You make a little line that comes up. This one's actually going to curve up a little bit, just like that. I right? don't, don't need to come out too far. Again, he has little short arms. So we do that. And then what's next? The line underneath that also curves up, kind of like that. Stops about right there. And then let's color those in. Let's outline those in our marker, just like that. Look at that. Cool. So what's next? His hand. And how do we do this hand over here on the right-hand side? We did a U. A part of a U kind of does this. Well, kind of like that. All right. Then we're going to finish this off. So let me, yeah, we'll go ahead and do the claws. So we'll do the little point like that, point like that, and then another point like that. Okay, we close these off for his, cl his uh, claws. One, two, and three. Now we're going to use our marker to outline this. So just like that, like that, and like that. And we do this, we do that, and we do that. How is that looking? Pretty awesome if you ask me. Okay, let's do his legs. Let's do Spider Bite's legs. We're going to start with the one on the right-hand side. So here's his mouth, right? The bottom edge of his mouth. So kind of a little bit over from right here where his mouth is. Come over just a little bit, and you're going to draw a line. Same thing, not too long, just like that. Okay. Other side. So his mouth is here, right here. Come down a little bit, and then we're going to, we're going to do this. Just like that. So back towards the other side of his leg. We're going to come down like this, and then down. All right. Now, we're going to do this. Almost like a little part part of a circle. It's going to come down, do that again, come over the top. Just like that. Oh, I made this one a little too far. 
So all right, so we got that's what we have an eraser for. Again, boys and girls, there's nothing wrong with erasing. Okay, um, that's what erasers are for. It helps us make little adjustments and to make what we're drawing a little bit better. Mistakes are going to happen. No big deal. We can just fix them. Okay. So let me color all that in or uh, outline it all in with my marker like that. I started with that side and then we came down like this. Then we came over like this over and then back all the way around. And then what we're going to do is his little, he's got nails right here. Got one nail right here, another nail right there. Okay. And let me go ahead and outline those. Okay. That's all we're going to do for that foot for now. We're going to go to the other foot and that we're going to start right here. His mouth is here. Come over to the left a little bit. We're going to draw a line that comes down like that. And then we're going to come into the inside on the other side like this towards his tooth. And we're going to do another line and it's going to do that just like that. Okay. Now he's got his nails really quick. These nails over here are going to look different because you're looking at his foot from the side. These nails, it's like you're looking at them from the front. Okay. If you wanted to make these a little bit sharper, you could. And maybe we'll make that adjustment in a little bit so they look a little bit sharper, but you don't have to. Okay. These on this foot are going to be sharp. So we're going to go like this. We're going to make a little point that comes out like that. We're going to bring it back. We're going to do another one like this and then back. And then that's going to go towards the back. And then we're going to do one more little point, a little one. It goes like that. So let me outline that. We started with the line on the left, comes down like this. Then we start to go to this line, it comes down like that. And then we went to his claws. Made a point that comes out to the left, goes back, goes down, goes back up, over to the right, and then another little point like that. Okay? Now let's make those claws. So close it just like what we did with the hands. We're closing this off a little bit. We're going to do that like this also. And then I think he's got one back here too. So we're going to do that so like this. Close that off. Close that off. And then we close that off. Okay. Now, if you want to make these claws over here a little sharper, all we have to do is this. Make a little point. Little point. Just like that. A little bit. Nothing crazy. You don't have to do that though. Okay, we have the feet, we have the arms, and then we have to make the giant spider legs up on top. Those are probably going to be the hardest ones, hardest stuff to do on spider bites. However, it is not hard at all. Okay, we're going to start. So above his, the third eye on his right side, right above that. Okay, maybe a little over to the left. We're going to, we're going to draw a line that goes out about like this. Okay, about like that. On the other side, we're going to come in a little bit and we're going to do a line that goes all the way up like this. Look at that right there. All right. Next line. We're going to go over like this. Okay. Then the line on top. We're going to do the same thing. Comes over like this. And all of this comes down into a giant point, a giant stinger. Okay just like that okay on the stinger we're going to do these are just like giant claws all right look at that so here we go with the outlining first we did this line like this okay then we did this line like this and then we went over we went over again we came down to a point and then down to a point like that. Okay, and then we're gonna do this. Okay, just like that. How cool is that? And then the last thing I wanna do for now is we're gonna draw a line right here, goes across, just for now. We're gonna come back and add some more stuff to the leg, but that's what we're gonna do for now. So there's one leg. Okay, we're gonna do another leg right here. How many legs does he have on his head? He's got. One, two, three, four. I know you guys probably can't see what I've got over here. That's the original, so I can kind of use it for reference. But he has four. So we're going to move over to the one next to this one right here. So about from right here, we're going to go up, and we're going to go like that. Okay? This next side, 
this next line is going to be over here. It's going to go up and then over just like that. Okay. Now we come back to this line. We're going to go just like that. And then down a little point. And then this one's going to come over and then another little point right there. All right. Cool, cool, and cool. So then what did we do to that other? The first one we did this. Just like that. And then we did a line right here. So let's go ahead and outline everything. Start with this line right here. We went up. Then I did this line right here. Went up. I did this part over here. This comes over. And then we made everything into a point. Cool. Then we did that. And we did that. It's looking pretty good. Spider Bites is looking pretty scary. All right. Next leg on the top of his head. So about right here. They actually almost connect the lines. So this one's going to come over like this. Okay. About right there. And then this other line on the other side is going to come up like that. Okay. Actually, I'm going to make this one, other, the other one on the other side a little bit longer. So then this part comes over like that. And this line right here comes over, comes down. This line does this, and we go to that point. And then what do we do? We make our little line there, and then we also do the line down at the bottom. So let's outline everything. All right, here we go. Over. Over, whoops, I should have done this one first, just like that. Over, over, down, and then down like that. We got our little line here and our little line there. Okay, Spider Bites, Spider Bites is getting scarier and scarier. So are we done yet with the legs? Nope. We got one, two, three. We need one more. So that one's going to start right here. So from here, we're going to come across, okay, like that. We come here. This one also comes across, just like that. Top part goes over, bottom part goes over. Oops, going to make this one a little bit longer, just like that. And then everything to a point, all right? There we go. Okay, and then this part right here, this part right here. And let's go ahead and trace everything out with our marker like that like that like that everything goes down to a point and then like this look at that cool very cool very cool so i'm not going to use my pencil anymore now i'm just going to go with my marker you guys see all these little details on his on his legs and his arms and he's down at the bottom his legs at the bottom the uh, claws and everything at the top. We're going to make all these little details. So everyone just kind of follow along with me. All right, here we go. I'm not using a pencil. I'm only going to use the marker now. These are the easy ones. This is the easy part. This, we're all we're going downhill now. So starting right here, right where this little uh, part has this little bend right here on his, on his, uh, on his leg, we're going to do this. Whoops, one line, other side, two lines. This bend right here, one line, two lines. Then right there too, as well, okay? Let's we'll slow it down just a little bit. This line right here, we're just gonna add another line. Well, you guys can always pause and rewind, right? Rewind, back up the video so you can, like, you can watch this again, okay? So right here, we're gonna do this, one line, two lines. Other side, one line, two lines. At the bend, one line. These are just little details that makes them look cooler. Gives a little more detail to spider bites, makes them look scarier. Okay, so this line right here. There we go. At this bend, we're gonna do this. Two. Now we come over here, we do the same thing. Right there, and right there. Look at that. Then, one more giant leg we're gonna go right there we're gonna go right here right here 
and then right there. Okay. What about his arms? His arms have some too. So right here on the inside of his arms. I'm going to do that. Right about right here. Another one. The opposite direction. And then where his wrist is. Right there. We're going to do one. Other side. Right here. And then right here again. Oops. Okay. His legs. Right here. And then right here. Okay. Other side. Right here. And then why not? Right here. All right. Look at spider bites. Are we done? We might be done. He's looking pretty dang scary if I do say so myself. Look at that. Whoa. I'll see each of you guys. So what do you guys think? Should we paint spider bites? I don't know. We'll think about it. Maybe uh, you guys tell me if you guys want me to paint it, okay? You guys tell me if you guys want me to paint it, and we will paint spider bites. That would be a fun little project, maybe uh, for another video. But anyway, here's our Mr. Spider Bites. Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our video for today. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Ethan, I want to say thank you, buddy, for having requested Spider Bites. It was really fun for me to do. Hope for those of you that followed along that you also had some fun. Uh, I would love to see pictures of the stuff that you guys created. So if you guys could uh, email me pictures, I'll have the email listed underneath in the description for the video. So um, definitely I'd like to see that. Maybe sometime in the future I'll have a video where I show pictures of the stuff that you guys send in. That would be pretty awesome. Also, I take requests, so if you guys have a particular character or animal or something that maybe you guys want me to do, uh, put it down in the description or in the comment section below, and maybe you'll see me do a tutorial on that in the near future. Next week, I'm going to be doing the llama from Fortnite, so that's what's coming next week. I'll probably have a video up by Wednesday, so um, you know, be on the lookout for that. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell. Uh, it'll alert you when a new video from my channel is up. Everyone, thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying my content as much as I am enjoying making it. So I hope to see you guys here next week. And um, we'll have some fun doing the llama from Fortnite. Okay, everyone, thank you once again. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.